Good evening everybody, I'm Fictional Crystals, and Lance has a shot at becoming the Black Paladin. Okay, so I recorded most of this video before Season 5's release, but it was taking so long to upload that I didn't get it out before Season 5. It's okay though, because Season 5 gave us some really good evidence for Black Paladin Lance. In this video, I'll be going over most of the major reasons Lance has a shot at becoming the Black Paladin. I've been meaning to make a video on this for a long time. I'm talking like since just after Season 3 is when I put it on my video list. Now I'm finally doing it, with some extra Season 5 content. Let's start with the first episode of Legendary Defender. Lance was introduced to us as the main character of the show. I'm sure many of us thought he was, myself included. It will take a pilot who is a born leader. He was trying to lead his team. His piloting skills weren't the best and he had an overly confident attitude. This resulted in him crashing the simulator. Lance was scolded and told not to follow in Keith's footsteps by Commander Iverson. The reason Lance was even able to fly that simulator was because of Keith. Him dropping out of the galaxy garrison opened a spot for Lance as a fighter pilot. He's been following in Keith's footsteps since the start. That guy's always trying to one-up me. Who is it? Keith! Lance and Keith are so different, yet so similar. Lance has always felt one-upped by Keith. He's one step behind him. Their stories have intertwined since day one. We were in the same class at the garrison? A paladin's quintessence is mirrored in their lion. For there to be a connection, the paladin has to match the lion's requirements. The quintessence of the pilot is mirrored in his lion. You can see similarities between paladins of the same lions. Keith felt a connection to the blue lion. Its energy was drawing him out there for months. Some energy was telling me to search. When the blue line was activated, Keith and Lance were in its circle. The others weren't. Keith was the first to be connected to blue. Lance ended up piloting it. Lance wanted the red lion. I got firepower! Hey, I want that! Keith got it. Someone who relies more on instincts than skill alone. Keith, you will fly the red lion. What? This guy? But shortly after, it became his. Lance is filling the void Keith left. Season 5 emphasizes this. He's got the lion, he's got the power move, he's got the sword. And various other parallels related to the lion switch. Lance, the blue paladin at the time, helped Keith, the red paladin at the time, take his role as the black paladin. Since Lance follows in Keith's footsteps, the next logical thing to do is become the black paladin. Lance and Keith have similar quintessence. Since they were both connected to blue and red, they should both be connected to black too. Allure, the current blue Blue Paladin is helping Lance, the current Red Paladin, uncover his potential. Aside from those parallels, we do see Lance as a leader. Hold on! Evasive action underway! There has been powerful improvements since episode one. He takes charge. We gotta get that ship out of the tractor beam! He puts the team first. He encourages them. And in season five, you hear him saying things the leader would normally say. Everyone, get to your lions! We're going in! Three, two, one! Lance has unlocked several different forms of his Bayard. We've only seen people with the Black Bayard do this so far. The parallels, the setup, it's all there. So how come he couldn't pilot Black before? The Black Lion hates all of us! The simple answer is, at that point, it didn't fit with the story. If he became the Black Paladin then, the story would have gone in a completely different direction. But speaking from the perspective of the characters, Lance didn't fit the requirements for Black at that point. The Black Lion tends to mess around with its Paladins. It's fine with having more than one at once. Some Sometimes it'll let its paladin in, sometimes it won't. Sometimes it'll straight up kick its paladin out. It all depends on what it needs and wants at the time. And who fit its requirements. The Black Lion didn't let Clone Shiro pilot it at first. He didn't feel right, he didn't have Shiro's drive. Notice how the Black Lion only came to him after he remembered the real Shiro's memories. And it only responded here when he had that same drive, and when the team desperately needed him. During telling the comet, he wasn't desperately needed to pilot Black. Keith was right there. So Black didn't desperately need Shiro. But soon, Black is going to need a different paladin. It's quite obvious the Shiro piloting it is a clone. The team is noticing how off he's been. Shiro has been pushing his right-hand man to the side. You'll notice Lance has been distanced. He's been spending more time alone, more standoffish. I'm the loner. Sooner or later, the Shiro is going to leave the team. There is no way the Golra clone is permanent. I also highly doubt Keith will stay with the Blade of Memora forever. Keith's arc is about connecting with people, finding his family. He's reconnected with his blood-related family, but he still needs to reconnect with his found family, Team Voltron. For his arc to be completed, he'll have to come back to them. Coming together is the basis of Voltron, and in a promotional picture, you see him wearing his paladin armor again, with one of Corellia's marks on his face. This is what he'll look like and be wearing in Season 6, meaning he returns to the paladins. After Clone Shiro is gone, they'll need a new black paladin. Keith can pilot it, but it's very 
very clear he does not want to. And he struggles with the role. It doesn't quite fit his personality. Please, no. I'm not meant to pilot the Black Lion. Keith had a strong bond with the Red Lion, yet they had no closure, no goodbye scene, unlike Blue and Lance did. Red never shut Heath out unlike Blue did to Lance. Keith still has his connection with Red. If he wants to return to Red, he can. Lance is separated from Blue. Alora's grown into the role of the Blue Paladin. He wouldn't take Blue away from her. At this point in the series, Lance hasn't formed a strong connection with Red. He knows how to pilot Red now, there just hasn't been that extra spark. Keith never got that extra spark with Black either. If Alora is strongly bonded to Blue, Keith strongly bonded to Red and Shirogon, there is a lion fit for Lance. He is willing to pilot it, and the others are fine with him doing so as well. This is your moment. You want the job so badly, you can have it! The Black Lion requires a paladin whose men follow without, without hesitation. hesitation. The other paladins have really been trusting Lance's leadership lately. You have greatness within. Lance knows when to take things seriously. His demeanor can completely change when he realizes the weight of the situation. He can control himself and in control at all times. Keith and Lance in Red and Black works. Black is the decisive head, Red is the second in command. But with them two in those lions, there is a sense of equality. Keith in Red, Lance in Black wouldn't be that different of a dynamic from theirs in Season 3. They'd co-lead, help each other out. The same as what they did then. The difference being that them and the team would be more comfortable with them in those lions. They've reached a state of equality. It's not a competition to see who will beat who anymore. Lance and Keith, neck and neck. Red and Black Paladins always seem to have an antagonistic relationship. They start off as friends, but something bad ends up happening to the relationship. This was the case for Zarkon and Alfor, Shiro and Keith, and Shiro and Lance. Keeping in mind that the bad relationship is with a clone they think is Shiro, but Keith and Lance didn't have this kind of relationship development. For them, it was the reverse. They started off with a bad relationship, which eventually turned good. Story-wise, it's much better to have the audience see the characters learn to work together, rather than have them start off with a great relationship. That way we get to experience what they mean to each other along with them. This also applies to character development. Seeing a character grow into their role, rather than start off perfect in it, allows the audience to sympathize with them and their struggles better. That's one of the reasons the Keith and Lance co-leadership dynamic worked. Blue taught Lance to support himself and the team. As the leg of Voltron, you will lift the team up and hold them together. Red helped improve Lance's piloting skills and allowed him to take on more responsibility. To become the Black Paladin, he required these attributes. Lance is the most balanced on the team. They all have their thing that they're extremely good at. He feels like the seventh wheel because he isn't good at specifically one thing. He's a jack of all trades, which is actually a good thing. He can take on any role. He's not limited to one. Lance is versatile. Like water, he adapts to the surroundings. He represents change. Lance has a connection with the Black Lion. Season 5 helped show us this. Lion Paladins are able to enter the Astral Plane. Shiro and Zarkon met there in Season 2. At the end of Season 2, Shiro vanished into thin air. Now we've finally seen the real Shiro again. It was through the Astral Plane. We can tell it's him because Clone Shiro didn't know anything about the situation. However, we don't know in what way he's there. Either his real body is still somewhere in the actual reality, and he's just stepping into the Astral Plane to connect with the Paladins and the Black Lion, or he literally Truly bonded with his lion, he's stuck in the astral plane. Through the black lion, Shiro can see Lance grow as leader. He's forming a connection with black, though it's not strong enough yet. Lance entered the astral plane. The real Shiro tried to communicate with him. There is more coming up between these two. Lance will uncover the story behind his disappearance and the clone. He'll continue communicating with the real Shiro in the astral plane. In turn, he'll learn more about himself through this arc. He'll fulfill his potential and become his hero. Shiro will be his guide, like he's been to others. That's Shiro! The pilot of the Kerberos mission. That guy's my hero. I want you to lead Voltron. Over a year ago, one of the show's executive producers, Lord Montgomery, drew this art pre-season two, and it revealed a little bit of season two beforehand. Alora was a part of Pidge's story. Hunk was a part of Keith's. And as we can see, Shiro will be a part of Lance's. Nice, Lance. Lance's journey is about him putting down his fronts. It's about him pushing past others' doubts about him and his own doubts. He needs to believe in himself like he believes in others. You guys think I'm your savior? He came this far and he can still go further. For Lance, it's all about discovery and growth. He will start to take on more responsibility and have some uh, leadership capabilities in him that he will uh, do at, at certain points, which is cool. 
Black Paladin Lance works. It fits seamlessly with the narrative. It lines up with the story, Lance's character arc, and fixes several problems. It's simply a matter of time. It won't happen immediately. There is stuff that needs to happen first, though he is getting his setup for becoming a leader right now. I was wrong when I said Keith parts the Black Line again in one of the trailers. I realised this scene is actually from season 3, so that's my bad. I do still think Keith will have closure with Black. He's returning to the teen soon. Two seasons worth of Black Paladin Keith setup wasn't for nothing, and Keith's relationship with Shiro is important. What happened to the real him and the clone thing is really going to affect Keith. The Black Paladin Keith story is going to come into play again, but Lance will be involved too. They'll have to turn on the clone, resulting in something similar to what happened with Alphor and Zarkon. That's why there have been these parallels. Of course, with a better ending than this. But anyway, thanks for watching, and hasta la later, Keith. You will pilot the Black Lion.